On this farm, around 10 tons of shrimp are cultivated every year. A harvesting machine lifts these delicious crustaceans and dumps them into 40 kilo baskets. The shrimp are processed and slide through a conveyor belt. They are then breaded and dipped into a tank filled with hot oil. But how are millions of freshwater shrimp produced in an industry worth $80 billion? By the late 1960s, fishermen could no longer keep up with the pace of the growing global demand for shrimp. This increase in demand was driven by the growth of the world population and the rise in seafood consumption. To address this issue, commercial shrimp aquaculture was born. This innovative practice not only offered a sustainable solution to the shortage of shrimp in natural fishing but also provided a stable source of income for many coastal communities, drawing on centuries-old traditions. The Asian continent has become the modern center of this intensive form of aquaculture, with its favorable climate, vast stretches of coastline, and long history of shrimp farming. Countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and China lead the world in farmed shrimp production. Freshwater shrimp farming begins on farms, typically located on the coast for easy access to seawater. Before building the ponds, land preparation is carried out, involving soil leveling, removal of natural obstacles, and soil compaction to ensure a solid and stable base for the ponds. Once the land is prepared, ponds are constructed to provide a suitable environment for shrimp cultivation. These ponds must have good drainage and be free of contaminants. Lime is applied to adjust the soil pH and improve conditions. Organic fertilizer is added to the pond bed to restore growth conditions to optimal levels between harvests. This organic fertilizer provides the necessary nutrients for phytoplankton growth, a significant food source for shrimp. Before filling the ponds with water, it is treated to remove potential pathogens and improve water quality, including filtration, aeration, and the addition of chemicals for disinfection. The salinity levels of seawater are reduced. This method ensures a constant supply of clean and healthy water for the proper growth of shrimp. Once conditioned, the water is distributed to the cultivation ponds. Water filtration and circulation systems are installed to maintain water quality in the ponds. The appropriate shrimp species for cultivation are then selected. In this case, Pacific white shrimp will be cultivated. Shrimp hatcheries rear shrimp larvae through three larval stages before selling them to shrimp farms. This process ensures the quality and uniformity of the shrimp that will later be cultivated on the farms. Initially, the larvae arrive in bags containing between 14,000 and 13,000 shrimp larvae per bag. Once the pond is filled, the shrimp larvae can be released. The water's oxygen level is carefully monitored, and aeration propellers are activated when it drops too low. This oxygen supply ensures optimal conditions for shrimp growth and prevents hypoxia problems. It is essential to maintain stable environmental conditions in these ponds to ensure healthy growth and a high survival rate for the shrimp. Various water parameters such as temperature, pH, salinity, dissolved oxygen concentration, and turbidity are regularly monitored. These parameters are critical for shrimp growth and health and must be maintained within optimal ranges. Weekly water quality testing is conducted on samples taken from the ponds. Regular monitoring of the cultivation pond is vital because shrimp feces and urine break down into ammonia, which is toxic at high levels. These tests ensure that ammonia levels remain within safe limits for shrimp health. Once the shrimp larvae are stocked, the fattening process begins. Shrimp are fed a natural diet that includes probiotics mixed with fish meal, fish oil, soy pulp, and rice flour. These ingredients provide the necessary nutrients for healthy growth and improve shrimp disease resistance. The feed is poured into an automatic feeding machine four times a day, distributing it evenly throughout the cultivation pond. This system ensures that shrimp have constant access to high-quality food and promotes uniform growth throughout the population. Shrimp are fed throughout the 12-hour period, consuming up to 5% of their body weight. This feeding regimen ensures rapid and healthy shrimp growth, maximizing the efficiency of the cultivation process. After four to five months in the pond, shrimp mature to market size, weighing between 20 and 30 grams. Once this size is reached, shrimp are ready for harvesting and processing. Before harvesting, 
The water in the cultivation ponds is drained to facilitate shrimp capture. Specialized equipment is used to efficiently pump or drain the water, exposing the shrimp at the bottom of the pond. Once the water has been completely drained, the shrimp are harvested from the ponds. This involves using nets or trawling equipment to efficiently collect the shrimp. A harvesting machine lifts the shrimp and dumps them onto the pond bank, where they are stored in 40 kilogram plastic baskets. The captured shrimp are sorted and separated by size and quality. They are divided into different categories based on their weight, and those that do not meet quality standards are removed. The continuous production cycle ensures a steady supply of fresh, high-quality shrimp to meet the growing demand of the global market. Fresh from the farm, the shrimp are immersed in water to help remove dirt, bacteria, and other contaminants adhered to their surface. Cold water also helps maintain the freshness of the shrimp during the washing process before being sent on a conveyor belt. After completing the washing process, the shrimp are removed from the water and allowed to drain to remove excess liquid. Next, the shrimp cascade from the belt into plastic baskets where a preliminary visual inspection is carried out to discard any abnormalities in their appearance. Any shrimp that do not meet established quality standards are discarded during this stage. Each basket is weighed, and subsequently, the shrimp are transported to a larger tank. Here, crushed ice is added to keep them at a temperature below 10 degrees Celsius throughout the process, ensuring their freshness and quality. The next step is decapitation. Using a specialized tool similar to an open thimble, the heads are removed with a couple of quick and precise movements. The decapitation line is a rigorous and high-demand task. Headless shrimp are sent to sorting rollers where they are separated by size. The smaller ones fall between the first rollers, while the larger ones advance to the last ones. This allows shrimp to be classified into five categories based on size. Temperature is constantly monitored to ensure they remain properly refrigerated. Once decapitated and sorted by size, the shrimp are ready to continue the process. The shrimp are then peeled, which involves carefully removing the outer shell. This is done carefully to avoid damaging the shrimp's flesh. In the peeling line, some shrimp tails are cut off, while others are left intact, as it is a feature appreciated by consumers. After peeling, the shrimp are deveined. The intestinal vein, which is the shrimp's digestive tract, is located on the dorsal part of its body. A shallow incision is made on the top of the shrimp and the vein is carefully extracted with the help of a blade. This vein is removed to improve the shrimp's appearance and quality, as well as to eliminate any possible bitter taste. Once peeled and deveined, the shrimp are carefully washed and rinsed to remove any shell or vein residue. In another part of the factory, a breaded recipe is prepared where the shrimp are seasoned with spices, dipped in egg, and then coated with flour before receiving a second layer for a crispy finish. These breaded shrimp are directed to the frying area where they are submerged in a tank of hot oil. Once the frying process is complete, all shrimp go through a freezer. Once frozen, the shrimp are weighed and packaged in individual compartments protected with glazed ice to preserve their freshness and prevent freezer burn. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, Subscribe to this channel by turning on notifications to keep learning.